Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and if you've played Elder Scrolls, you know, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, or Elder Scrolls Online, you have probably met Maik the Liar. He is a Khajiit, and he is like, by far, he should be the main character, because the Maik bloodline flows through many of these games, alright? He, I'm pretty sure Maik is in more games than the Emperor. Like, as in an importance, right? So, I mean, Mike, he's just an important character. We need a build of Mike. That's what we're doing today. So, Mike, you're going to play a Khajiit. If you want to take the time to make Mike, go for it. I just despise character creation. I, I, I hate wasting time because, you know, you barely get to see them. So I don't really care about it. Uh, but for your two... Um, uh, attributes, I almost call them agilities for some reason. You're going to do personality and agility with a stealth specialization and the shadow sign. All right? Pretty self-explanatory. Mike just pops up whenever he wants to, but he's also got a winning personality. So, like, Mike's personality is already, should be at 100. If you can make it 100 at the start, go for it, okay? Um, but he's got that stealth, and he's going to have the shadow sign. I was thinking, you know, because I believe... Um, there's a sign that increases your personality. I'm not too sure about that, but, or sorry, a yeah, a sign that increases your personality. Your custom class, you can upgrade it. But I decided to pick the shadow because that's going to allow you to sneak around to random places that you want to surprise someone. It's going to make it easier for you because you have more invisibility spells. So, for your your uh, your spell or your sorry your skills that you get at man, I can't talk today. Your skills for Mike. If you play Mike. Number one, well, first of all, if there's a mod where you can use the same skill, all seven of them need to be speechcraft. But if you can't do that, you're going to have speechcraft, illusion, athletics, hand-to-hand, -hand, conjuration, security, and sneak. Okay? Speechcraft, it's Mike. He is the master of speechcraft. You need to have that. Max that out as soon as possible, even at the sacrifice of effective leveling. Illusion is there because you need to be able to go invisible as Mike. And you can also kind of make people like you more more than they already should or sorry more you got mike he like transcends the whole um chat bubble thing people like him more than 100 disposition the game just can't render it so you need to render it for the game with illusion then you're also going to rock athletics because mike i don't know if you guys notice him he just wears a robe and a hood and just stands outside that's all he does he stands outside he's got to be able to withstand the heat outside he's got hand to hand he does, Mike doesn't need weapons. He's a freaking Khajiit. Khajiit should be hand-to-hand -hand main anyway, so very beneficial. I picked Conjuration because it's more of a skill where it's going to help you in combat because it's going to distract people from you, all right? But Mike conjures himself up anywhere he wants. If you can discover Conjuration or download a mod so you can teleport and it uses Conjuration, do it. All right, then we have sneak and security. That is, again, related to this whole get anywhere you want, okay? Now, if you don't like conjuration as that kind of troll skill, swap it with acrobatics, okay? But Mike, he's Mike. He's gonna be good at jumping anyways because he's a Khajiit, but if you really want to be able to get anywhere you want, pop acrobatics in there. So as Mike, the Khajiit, what you're gonna do is, and this is pretty cool, first of all, you're gonna need a little bit of grinding and you're gonna need to find a way to make money, okay? Because what you're gonna do is, Mike, is you're gonna make everyone your friend, okay? Then, after you grind your speechcraft to 100, in the meantime, you're gonna pop yourself more invisibility spells, a lot of lockpicks, and be ready to go. You're gonna raid dungeons without killing anything as Mike. You're gonna be invisible, okay? You're gonna be hand-to-hand -hand is kind of a combat skill that you can use to assassinate people anyways but you're gonna mainly be invisible sneaky have a ton of lock picks okay if you want to use alteration as kind of your backup lock picks go for it or grab the skeleton key as early as you can and you're gonna do nothing no killing you just steal just raiding ruins without killing anything if something finds you you better hope your sneaks high enough so that they'll forget about you okay that's main priority as Mike get those up now Mike of course does not need any weapons if you do need weapons punch someone you use illusion to paralyze them what I would suggest is use paralysis to run away that way as Mike you don't have to kill anything
because you're just there to be a commentator on how the whole series is. That's really it is my, for my Mike build. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you want an extra little benefit, um, especially early on in the game, become a vampire. Vampires, if you level, if you become a vampire enough at the start, uh, Mike's not a vampire, so eventually you want to get rid of this, but it gives you a higher illusion, an invisibility spell, uh, better punching, and better sneaking. So those three aspects, which are really not the best in the beginning of the game, but amazing at the end of the game, to help you with that in the beginning, become a vampire. Is that way you can do that? That's really it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I said to make.